Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I've got three stories to share with you this week. First up, we have announced the winners of our first drone photo contest. Uh, thank you again to everyone who submitted a photo and voted. We received over 400 submissions, and now I'm going to share the winners and runners-up uh, of each category. For our animals and people category, our first place winner is Bruce Moore, who captured this incredible photo of a red-shouldered hawk while completing a 3D mapping mission using his Skydio 2. Our runner-up in this category is David Navis, who captured these awesome shadows using his DJI Mini 3 Pro in Maui, Hawaii. In the nature category, our first place winner is David Jeffrey Gosling, who got the timing right on this stunning photo with his DJI Mini 3 Pro at Copacabana in Australia. Uh, our runner-up here is Gail Ensign, who captured this beautiful image uh, with a DJI Mavic 2 in Shiprock, New Mexico. Finally, in the urban category, our first place winner is David Wald, who captured this stunning sunset with a DJI Mavic 3 uh, at the Jackson Street Bridge in Atlanta, Georgia. The runner-up here is Thomas Fogel, who shot this with his DJI Mavic 3 Pro during a fire in 2020 at Pier 45 in San Francisco. Check out the link below to get a closer look at each photo. Last week, DJI released the Mavic 3 Classic, and it came with a feature that other Mavic 3 drones didn't have yet, which was cruise control. Uh, but soon after the launch, cruise control became available for other Mavic 3 drones uh, through a firmware update. So cruise control is now available to the Mavic 3 standard, the Cine, and the Enterprise drones. And cruise control allows you to set a constant flight speed for the drone. So you can focus on the footage you're getting without worrying about um, you know, accelerating or, or de, uh, decelerating the drone. Additionally, uh, you're getting reduced camera shake associated with manual speed control. So you're able to shoot you know, it's a little bit more smooth, more professional footage. If you have a Mavic 3, make sure to update your firmware uh, before taking it out next. Lastly, here are two words you never thought uh, would go together. Edible drone. Yes, you heard this right. Researchers from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, Switzerland, unveiled an edible drone designed to, well, be eaten. Uh, this drone is made of rice cakes and gelatin. The puffed rice is similar to expanded polypropylene foam, which is commonly used as wing material in drones. I'm not sure this is the most elegant solution to combat uh, world hunger, uh, but intriguing nonetheless. All right, that's all we have for this week. Uh, as always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Uh, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, and leaving your comment below. Um, we read uh, every, every single comment. Uh, have a great weekend, and to all of our drone pilots out there wishing you blue skies and safe flying.